Hi, I'm Naomi Joy Smith. I'm representing today the Collaboration Incubator Series hosted by the Open Value Network called Vanilla Way. And I'm speaking here with Ted J. Rao, who is working for Sociocracy for All so far. He's a co-founder and in a leadership position now. And Ted, I would really like to know about the work that you're doing, particularly around supporting organizations who are interested to adopt sociocratic practices within their organization. Yes, so Sociocracy for All so far is an organization that does three things. One is resources. So we give resources to people like webinars and uh, we just recently wrote a book. We do training because we also want to see those things in practice. And a lot of that just requires learning from an actual human being, at least that helps for many learning styles. Mm -hmm. And the other thing is community because um, so many of us are lonely in thinking about those things. So um, we're a membership organization where people come together that have the same sense of belonging around finding new ways of relating to each other, really, um, and making things happening and advancing things for their own, yeah, for their own sphere where they are active. Mm. So all of those. So you work directly, indirectly, and also on the connection dimension. Yes. Our typical audience right now, well, it's both individuals and organizations. In, in terms of membership, it is typically um, individuals that then bring whatever they learn into their own organizations. Um, and of course, we also do the typical coaching consulting um, gigs with organizations. Um, I guess what we most enjoy is working with organizations and really working forward with them, but also supporting those individuals that simply don't have a group to practice with um, and making them strong sort of strong voices and, and, and um, yeah having their back so they can they can be the ones bringing it into their group I don't even have to show up for that you know like I don't have to be visible I mean I want to support other people doing yeah. that so you can both remove yourself from the picture as quickly as possible and also remove the barriers from anybody that is well, let's say, what do you think somebody would be getting out of practicing sociocracy? What are they looking for when someone comes to you to learn this practice? Mm -hmm. Typ the typical um, situation is somebody who just walked around with a gut feeling of there must be something better than this. There must mm -hmm. be something better than endless discussion with no outcome. There must be something better than voting that creates winners and losers, you know? Mm. Just the divisiveness that comes with um, right and wrong, yes or no kind of voting. There must be something better. And we often ask, for example, we ask people, what did you Google to find us? And they say, I don't know, something about better meetings, decision. Like, they're very vague about it, which makes it hard for us to respond to it. But that is the sense that I get from basically everybody who comes to us of like, mm. the hope of them, this must be, there must be a way of doing this better. And, and then they start looking and they find us. Wow. Um, it's still a little bit of a miracle to me how that happens, but, um, <laughs> but it does happen quite a bit. There you are just waiting to be found. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's a both hand, right? You also have to be findable so that you can be found. And that's a little bit of a science when you don't know what it is exactly. Mm -hmm. You know, it's not only people in one sector, it's people from all kinds of places that all of the share that deep belief of, of all that hope and the realizing, okay, our current systems are not giving us what we want. So that combination and then the follow through of actually looking some, for something like that, that is the, the kind of um, people that, that end up with us. Yeah. Once you're ready to take a little bit of responsibility to say, this is not good enough, not by a long shot, then that's when you start to adopt sociocracy as one way forward and a really effective way forward that we know has worked very well for people of all backgrounds. I love that you use the word responsibility, taking responsibility, because one way sociocracy being described, or somebody said to me, of like, oh, so basically sociocracy means no more excuses. <laughs> and that is exactly what it is for me. It wow. is both the power, but also the little bit of scariness and responsibility of, figure it out to not only with each other but also tapping into that own sense of agency of okay let's 
make it better then. Just complaining is just not an option anymore. Finding, you know, finding some, some scapegoat is not an option anymore. So what, acceptance what is, and then moving forward. That's what it is about for me. Absolutely. And I love when you see those success stories coming out of sociocracy and you think, well, look, they can do it and they're just human and I'm just human. You know, maybe I do have this ability in me and I believe we all do. Sometimes it's lying dormant or there's something that blocks us from seeing it. But once you step forward into that original discomfort, I think it's so quick you discover, hey, I am actually able to do this. I'm stronger than I thought I was. And that alone is worth engaging with the work, would you say? Yes. Yes. And I guess one sort of my yes and is for that is yes, because we all are good at doing those things. We all are good at collaboration. We're wired for collaboration. Yeah. Of course we can do it. It's just that we forget that we can and we don't, you know, our habits don't serve us. Our systems don't serve us. Mm -hmm. But really innately we're, we're, we're totally able to do it. Um, I see what many people are also, yes, what they're going for is the hope. Um, show me that it can be done. And then, then the spark is, you know, then, then there's the spark of, yes, okay, now I only, only need the skills. Um, yeah. And, and the community to practice it with. So I always come back to those three things, right? It's the skills and it's the community and it's the hope and the knowing about it. That's the three things that, that, that come at least to me i wonder if there's something i'm not seeing but that's that's um mm. strong combination for me yeah well thank you for providing through sofa both that landing page and also that helping hand um i think your work makes a big difference and i invite anybody interested to look further in the interview that ted and i just recorded that you might be interested in um, some of the deeper um, fields of how sociocracy has been used and why. Mm -hmm. so, thank you and very if much. You're, Any, if, yeah. you're, if you're wanting to just um, skip the, if you don't want to go through all the talking and just look at the skills, there is the book that we wrote, Many Voices, mm -hmm. One Song dot com, and the idea here is that that working together could be like singing together, right? We don't all sing the same tune. Yeah. But we all have the same song that we're singing. So, mm -hmm. and together it's more beautiful. We don't all have to do the same or make all decisions together. We can actually do different things and complement each other. That's mm. the image. Harmony over uniformity. Right. Mm, how wonderful. So many voices, one song, dot com. Yes. Fantastic. We'll put that in the comments. Oh, thank you, Ted. Thank you.